Welcome back, everyone. I'm sure many of you are thinking, why in the world did he not make a video last night? Because, you know, when I normally make a video within 24 hours, 22 hours, 23 hours, I usually do it around that time frame. Well, the reason why is, it's pretty sad, really. What happened was, is that I wrote a script on a news article, I saved the photos, edited the photos, I was making the video, I had written this like two-page script, I was really into this, I was like, ah, some of my best work, and then Lucasfilm said it wasn't true, and then it was just BS, and it's all BS now, because it's fucking bullshit, because I worked that hard, anyways. So, we're just going to talk about Gillette. Uh, apparently, Gillette, as you know, a few um, days ago, released their second woke ad. They had that first one where it was like, toxic masculinity. And then uh, now you have, you know, this one where they pr promoting transgendered people uh, shaving. Nothing against it. But why are you marketing towards... Literally, the smallest percentile of your demographic. It doesn't make sense. Like, the majority of people who buy Gillette are manly men who do manly things. You think you would market towards that. Like, playing football on a hot, sunny run, uh, a sunny day uh, during 4th of July with barbecue. Like, that, that, that makes more sense. Or maybe do an ad where the guys are chopping down trees. Oh, wait, no, that would be anti-environmental. My bad. Even though you don't want to talk about how with every tree drop uh, chopped down, they plant two more, but we don't need to talk about that. Um, <laughs> let's, let's talk about... Uh, okay, how about this? Make one where the guys are, like, wrestling. You know, like WWE or whatever. Like, have them wrestle, and then, like, be like, you need that close shave. And, and I don't know. I don't use Gillette. I don't... I use one of those electric... I'm, 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 I'm not big into shaving. I really don't care. I, I just... I do things to survive. <laughs> I go on bare minimum effort. But this is just ridiculous. Gillette, a woke ad again, second one. I guess their marketing department was like, hey, that first one got people talking about us more than uh, uh, normally. Like, most people are just like, oh, a new Gillette commercial, I'll just forget about it. And they're like, hey, look, this one actually made people talk about us. Yeah, Gillette, but you're supposed to have people talk about you in a positive way where they're like, hey, I'm going to buy your product. Now people are like, I'm not going to buy your product. I, I never have bought Gillette, ever, even before this, so it's not affecting my sales. But if you feel I don't want to support this, I totally endorse that, because I don't endorse wokeness. I endorse logical, reasonable, you know, thinking. And so, nothing against transgendered men. I've worked with transgendered men, I've talked with them, and been friends with them, and co-workers with them, I, I have nothing against them. It's just, it doesn't make sense from a marketing standpoint, that's what I'm just saying, like it doesn't make sense. Oh, what's the percentile of transgendered men for our customer base? Oh, well it's uh, less than 1% probably, well then let's just make a whole commercial advertising to them. Why? I don't, I don't know. Why not? It makes no sense. It, it would. It just. It's so stupid. Like as an author, if you're going to market your books, you have a book that's a fictional novel, and you know that the most uh, people that read fantasy novels are in their twenties or younger. Why would you cater it to an elderly audience. It doesn't make sense because like less than 0.1% would buy that. Maybe one person would buy that book and you're like, nah, let's make the whole book, the whole advertising for the novel cater towards that one person instead of the other 99%, 99.9999%. It, it doesn't make sense. Gillette, you've lost your mind. That or your head so up your ass you think, we can get away with anything. Alright. <laughs> I'm not saying you should do whatever. Gillette's not that big of a deal. Honestly, it's whatever. 
If you want to do it, that's cool. It'd be great to see your sales plummet because of this wokeness. Honestly, it doesn't affect me in any shape or form. I think it's funny. <laughs> it just doesn't make sense. And the reason why I'm covering this is because it is a part of media, part of culture, which is what I try to do on this channel. And therefore, I you know, thought I should discuss it. And on top of that, ladies and gentlemen, I just... Uh, it's, it, it, it just it just needs to be addressed. It just needed to be talked about in some way, shape, or form. And since there's nothing really going on in entertainment right now until, like, I don't know. I couldn't find anything. I was, like, trying to look, and then I was like, there's really nothing here that, you know, I know something about. So how about we talk about a Gillette ad? That sounds great. Anyways, so... <laughs> Anyways, tell me what you guys think. It just... It's, it's, it's a goof trap. I'm telling you, it's a goof, it's a goof trap, whatever that means. And so I'm going to be, I'm already trying to put together a video. I've never watched Batman 89. I'm 25 years old almost. And I've never watched Batman 89. I think it's about time I did that. So I bought the entire four pack of movies, Batman 89, Batman Returns, Batman Forever, and that, that terrible Batman and Robin film. I have seen that one. <laughs> still better than The Last Jedi. I can still laugh at it and have somewhat enjoyment. Anyways, so uh, I'm going to watch Batman 89 for the first time. And I thought I was going to thought about doing a comprehensive review of it. Uh, how someone in my age demographic has never seen it before, watched it for the first time. What do I think about it? Uh, so I know it's a beloved film, so I'm not going to crap on it like that. I'm not going to be like, you know, if you like this film, you're an idiot. No, I understand. I understand people's feelings and emotions towards certain things like that, so I'm not going to crap on it. But if I don't like it, I'm going to say it. <laughs> I'm going to say, eh, I didn't really care for it. Uh, but hopefully that is not the case. I do like Matt. I love Batman, and uh, I want to enjoy it. So I might be putting that up too. Uh, Saturday I will be putting up my review for Ma. If you don't know what that is, it's an Octavia Spencer horror thriller film. Looks really good. I'm excited. Uh, I'm going into it expecting creepy as hell shit. That's all I'm asking for. I don't. I don't really care for believability. Actually, the less believability, unless it's Star Wars, the better. So, anyways, uh, tell me what you guys think about anything in this video. Yeah. Tell me what your favorite color is. I'm just, I don't I don't know. It's my sister's favorite question. What's your favorite color? Keep telling her. She keeps asking. Anyways, hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day and don't be woke like Gillette. Please please for the love of God, don't. But I was going into Tar Sheet Station to pick up some power converters. You can waste time with your friends when your chores are done. Come on. But I was going into our sheet station to pick up some power converters. Luke!